What's up Agents Wolf here, welcome to a very special Division 2 build video. In today's video I'm going to showcase a very powerful solo sniper build. I'm able to 3 shot Chungas with no buffs, just straight up damage and I've got 5 blues. We can do over 20 million damage a shot when we have our buffs activated and when I made this build I thought to myself, we've had some changes to brand set bonuses so I've got a lot more damage, but I've I've got the wrong pieces. I've got five blues. I should maybe try and get some more reds. I don't need it. I can tank ridiculous amounts of damage from the NPCs and also one-shot almost all the enemies, including golden robotic dogs on legendary, which is just surreal, and it feels really powerful, and it's fun to play. So if you enjoy solo sniper builds, you are going to absolutely love this setup, and it, I can I can give you some examples of how you can tweak it to change it up so that you can maybe be a bit more tanky or even do more damage playing in a group. But this is going to be focused around solo play. I'm going to showcase some gameplay. Enjoy it, guys, and we'll go through the build in full detail. Enjoy.
So the whole idea of this build is to update a kind of like a god mode solo sniper build that I made a couple of months ago. I think it might have been years ago, actually. And I wanted to make a new version because we've had some changes to the brand sets and we've had even some new pieces, I believe, since then. So this is going to be my new best way to run a solo sniper build. So just before we go into the, the description, I want you guys to understand just a couple of things. You can go for more reds. As you can see, I've got five blues, but I'm still able to hit enough damage. And that's because of the chest piece and backpack talent, the knee pads, and just all the headshot and marksman rifle damage that I have stacked on the setup. Keep in mind, I have not opt well, I haven't even fully optimized the sniper yet, and it's only an expertise level four. So we can just escalate the damage so much more than this. And also the backpack talent as well. Keep in mind, when we look at the backpack talent, this is going to be concussion. Now, you can use Vigilance if you're going to be uh, getting some bonus armor, but however, Vigilance would go down pretty quick. So I have used concussion because we hit a headshot, then we get 10% weapon damage uh, for five seconds with a marksman rifle. But when we get a headshot kill, which we're going to be getting a lot because you only, you only have to hit a body shot to get a headshot kill because of the chest piece and weapon combination which I will showcase shortly. So it's pretty easy. You guys know how determined works and the chess piece, headhunter, it's just a match made in heaven. So this is going to be perfect for getting that high amount of damage. And I want to quickly showcase a comparison between the two. I'm not even need to showcase it. I've tested all of this. You guys can test it for yourself. So concussion is, is I would say better with headshot builds. And because we can get the headshot kills all the time, we're going to have it up a lot more often than what I would recommend using. If you would like use a crit build which is unstoppable force both give you the same amount of damage but it works slightly differently so unstoppable force you need to kill an enemy and you get five percent weapon damage for 15 seconds stacks up to five times that's 25 percent weapon damage headshots increase total weapon damage by 10 percent for five seconds so we can get twice two of these two of these stacks immediately for just hitting a headshot which is easy with determined on the weapon so headshot kills increase total weapon damage by 15%. This is adding on to that. So this is going to give us 25% as well. And I did test it. It's the same damage. That's what that's the numbers that I got. So this lasts for 10 seconds. It is less. But think about this. If you just shoot one headshot, you get the buff. So it's going to be more efficient in a build like this. You can go for unstoppable force. Uh, don't go for vigilance because you will be taking damage. But companion could also work, but it's going to be less damage. So I would definitely, end with this setup, even if you're on console and you can't hit your headshots because you don't have to hit headshots, use concussion. Also, what I noticed was, is when I'm playing a legendary mission, and I'm sure you guys will know this, the explosive drones will do a lot of damage to you. So you kind of want to try and tank it because the whole point of this build is to stay in cover, tank everything, and one-shot all the enemies by shooting them in the body. Uh, and then we can, we can stack some uh, armor on kill and just kill them as quick as possible. Now, I have use the backpack talent to get more damage. Sometimes I actually found that it might be more beneficial to use Bloodsucker, for example, on the backpack. Bloodsucker gives us bonus armor. So it, it's going to be exceptional. So if you put Bloodsucker on, you will definitely lose a bit of damage, but you will gain a huge amount of survivability. So just keep that in mind. If you need more survivability, go for that. Now, what I would recommend is trying to go for one or two more reds if you are struggling for damage. That's simple. We can, we can put so many reds on this build and you can do probably upwards of 30 million a shot. So the, the reason why we can actually do the one shotting to the body, if you guys are not aware, is because of this beautiful talent right here. So I have chosen the White Death Marksman Rifle, which I recommend. Damage to armor on the attribute, I think that's quite strong. After killing an enemy with a headshot, the next shot landed on any enemy will be a guaranteed headshot. You see this icon, you hit the body shot, you get the headshot kill. So when we get a headshot kill by shooting the body, even if it's an electronic NPC, wait a couple of seconds and you'll hear the buff activate and you'll get the noise. That means you got a headshot kill. So even on electronics, with like an electronic drone, for example, you can still get a headshot kill. So when, you actually, when we're actually shooting it to the body on enemy and we get the, the headshot kill, it's going to also not just stack the backpack talent concussion or whatever else you're using if you get a kill, but we also stack perfect headhunter which is arguably the strongest damage talent in the game. We get a huge amount of damage here. So this is how I'm able to hit so hard so easily. So it, the synergy is just perfect between all of these things. Now, also, I'm going to be sitting in cover. Therefore, Sawyer's knee pads will allow me to not get staggered, which is very important because when we're in cover, we, we want to not get interrupted by grenadiers or the explosive 
items in the game like the drones that's very difficult because you can use this build in any content in the game on heroic this will be a, a walk in the park you can literally run up to npcs and one shot them it's going to be way too easy this is more for the difficult content in the game so we uncover we can mitigate explosions we can actually not get staggered which is great and we also get 30 percent weapon damage so i think these knee pads are are very viable and that's why you can see here we have got explosive resistance that's why i have opted for explosive resistance as the attributes so headshot damage and explosive resistance and hazard protection combining those three i think it's the most beneficial crit chance is not going to help us that much in this situation you won't see much of a difference so explosive resistance allows me to actually tank quite a few explosions from a golden legendary npc a grenadier the, the grenader it's, it's just necessary and i absolutely believe this to be one of the best attributes to stack with headshot damage explosive resistance is definitely worth it and i have balanced it on this build so i've gone for the chest piece also explosive resistance hazard protection on the holster hazard on the gloves and hazard on the backpack i'm yet to fully optimize this build because it's quite fresh but i wanted to post it so you guys can see it so you can see the synergy from the gameplay you could tell how i was doing it so hopefully I've explained that enough. So let's go through the pieces now. So like I said before, you can use whatever, uh, uh, as many blues as you want, as many reds as you want. Just, I would not go for more than four or five reds, just because there are diminishing returns in the talent. This chess piece talent, I wouldn't go to all reds because you're going to be not gaining so much. You're going to be putting all your reds and it's not really going to be elevating your damage that much. So I would only maybe add an extra one or two reds here. That'll be about maximum three. So you can go for four, but it's up to you. So with the specialization, I have gone for this one right here because it just gives us more uh, target acquisition. We get some better handling. We can mitigate status effects a bit easier and we get more headshot damage. You can use gunner for more armor on kill. That is up to you. If you feel like you need some more armor on kill, that works great. I did try a hot shot build as well. This outperformed it by a long way. And you can also try a combination of the ninja bike backpack and hotshot i also tried that that would be better for pvp that could be a future build i could post so with the setup like i mentioned before use the white death it's great you can use whatever attribute you want go for damage but i recommend damage to armor but you can go for other ones it's up to you because some enemies have more health so it really just depends on you determined is a must on this build unless you want to hit all your headshots and use ranger that's up to you that could be another alternative it's going to be more difficult though the Born Great Assault Rifle with damage two targets out of cover. Go for weapon handling, headshot damage on the uh, attachments or accuracy, stuff like that. So this just allows us to get huge amounts of accuracy and weapon stability, which is just immense. I can, I'm able to even beam the heads of NPCs with this gun. That's why I have chosen it. You can go for whatever secondary you want. Regular pistol for some pistol damage. If I use a big shield, sometimes if I get cornered, I can still one-shot the NPCs. Then with the pieces now, the brand set bonuses. I have gone for Palisade. Reason being is because I want that 10% armor on kill. It's going to help me get my armor back up. So currently I'm standing at just over 155k, which I think is quite decent. With gunner specialization, you could get more. So one piece Palisade. And on this piece, I've gone for explosive resistance and headshot damage for the mod and the other attribute. So I think that it just works really well. Then the Walken Harris. This is the chain killer chest piece, guys. This is very important explosive resistance and headshot damage with a headshot damage modification perfect head hunter you know how this works by now it is a beast of a talent make sure you try this then picaro's holster skill haste with weapon damage and armor which is just perfect and i've got hazard protection here it just allows me to have a blue but also get 15 percent weapon damage it's great the skill haste can also come uh, in, come in handy when i'm using the decoy and you can use the mantis with the decoy if you would like just remember you won't have determined the Mantis works great with this as well. Then the backpack, and more importantly, the two-piece brand set bonus, which is Habsburg God. So we get 15% headshot damage and 20% marks for rifle damage. If you compare it to like Providence, we get crit chance. We don't want that. You can even compare this to like an Araldi two-piece, which is also not going to be as good. It's only 10% and 15% headshot damage. So Habsburg God, two-piece is a must. Headshot, marks, rifle damage, perfect. Backpack talent, like I said before, you can use concussion. The other ones I showcased. It. it really just depends on what you want out of the setup, but I recommend trying this first. Hazard, headshot with a headshot modification. I'm yet to optimize this, but it's a great two-piece bonus. Perfect for sniper builds. Then, Sawyer's knee pads, as I mentioned before, to mitigate grenades, get more weapon damage, and we don't get staggered, so we can just continuously shoot, get our armor back, and dish out that big damage. 
So that's pretty much the setup, guys. Stay in cover and one shot everything in sight. It works incredibly well, even with all of these blues. So adapt it to suit your own playstyle. Go in the comment section. Let me know. Have you tried it? Are you going to try it? And these are the statistics. You can use a Defender Drone, Reviver Hive, Decoy. Just put your best mods on it. Doesn't matter. And these are the stats. 290% headshot damage. The rest is really up to you what you want to like stack do you want some regen more hasbro do you want to rather or go all into explosive resistance i've got just under 40 percent for both i think that's a decent amount i didn't want to go too much on hasbro because the med kits i believe help with status effect with the actual specialization bonuses we do get a bit of status effect mitigation and also the it's been nerfed in pvp but this is a pve build though if you want to play in a group I definitely would recommend uh, just keeping it the way it is, but maybe just having a few more reds. But like I said, be, be careful of the diminishing returns of the chess piece talent. That's it for the skills. And let me quickly showcase, actually, I forgot to show you the modifications of the guns. I've gone for this scope right here. I've gone for weapon damage. This doesn't really matter too much. And I've gone for accuracy. So I wouldn't worry about stability or crit. So it's probably the best mod to put on there. Also, I've got white jade. It's glass work, which is cool. I like the, the camos here. But that's it, guys. You can use other snipers. I did try the Brutus. That could work. You can go for that as well. It really just depends on what you want to use. But I still prefer this weapon. So please make sure to leave a like, guys. Subscribe. And I'll see you very soon in the next one. Peace out.